Season's greetings, everybody. I hope that everybody had a nice Christmas, and hopefully everybody's going to have a good New Year's Eve and rocking New Year's Day. But sadly, what I have to say in this vlog is that there was another death in the family, and the person which I'm referring to is my great-grandmother, Gertrude Hill. She, I think she died last week, and her funeral was this Saturday. It it was a pretty big turnout for her wedding in general, and with some of my aunts, they did have a lot of tears to shed over the passing of my grandmother, my great grandmother, which was their mother. And I had a few relatives that had come down from from their residence to pay their respects. And everybody got together, talked, and just uh, gave each other comfort and all, all that. And um, yeah, for me, that's, that's kind of tragic. Well, no, not kind of. That is very tragic because that's what the fourth passing other than my great-grandfather, which he died last year. Um, my cousin Jarvis, I really didn't have anything against him, but, well, a lot of bad things happened around this neck of the woods. And uh, I forgot about the, the last one. Um it escapes my, my memory. I'll, I gotta look it up somewhere, but there's just been, like, a lot of stuff, and I'm just trying to deal with it and all that. In other news, after the Christmas dinner that usually goes on at my Aunt Esther's house, um, which for this year really wasn't as long as I usually would think it its length would be. Usually it's, um... Usually the length of time it it goes from maybe 12 to maybe like 7 o'clock at night. But honestly, it felt a lot shorter because I was there like at around maybe noon. And we left at about maybe 3.30 or 4. I, I forgot. It, I didn't really look at the time then. But... Like, while I was over there, I did get some good eats and got to talk to, like, a couple of, a uh, few other family members. And, um, it was just a really short meal. Like, really short meal meeting and just relaxing. And, um, basically, it's, well, it really wasn't that much to talk about. Just the usual family gathering after, uh, like, after... Christmas church, so, oh, and, and other than the fact that it was, like, super cold, but yet not snowing, yeah, that was kind of, like, like, I, I wish it would have kind of snowed, but then if it would have snowed, it would have been just complete, almost completely unbearable, but it was, like, very cold anyway, and if it would, if it would have rained, yeah, it would have been just as bad as snowing. Also, what I found out in the vlog channel that I'm subscribed to, which is Got No Ammo on YouTube. If anybody's interested in looking that up, uh, please do. But while looking on that vlog's day, uh, maybe like before Christmas, there was... A, uh, a fire that happened at this person, well, a fire that happened at this person's neighbor's house, which it it was pretty bad. I mean, uh, it wasn't a raging inferno, but it was like like a pretty bad fire where like it it could have gotten really bad really quickly if the firefighters didn't show up as quick as they did, which is kind of surprising. But anyway. After all the the fire was put out and the morning came, it was also revealed to me that the 
part of the roof that was burnt off the building itself had landed on the grounds that was right in front of the person's house. Now, the person's house where their natural gas is stored is stored like right across from like a few feet in front of their house and only by a tiny length did this part of the burnt off roof actually came close to not collapsing on it and exploding the natural gas that was stored in this house apparently so I gotta say for got no ammo she is one pretty lucky bird I mean my god somebody is really looking out for the really looking out for her because man looking at how close it came to one fire becoming a, a big explosion and having some sort of fatality man that, that, that's just that's some luck for you and i mean if the zombie apocalypse comes around i mean i've got to look for you and just kind of just strap you to my hip so hopefully the best luck in in the world can just happen for the both of us because man that's that was just lucky you you would have to see the video itself it's a recent one that came out uh by the way but still if you really look at it how close she she came from having her house almost blown up i mean it's really really crazy but other than that that's all i got for t for you today so peace